And welcome back to another episode of the Two Hoodies Podcast. I'm T Money. Hi, Taylor. Who are you? I missed you so much. I don't even know who you are anymore. <laughs> so good to see you. I don't even know who you so are. So good to see your cute little beard. What's your name? Enrique. No, Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Is that right? I'm Eddie Murphy. His name is Murphy, everybody. That's the, called Murph. No, your name is Murphy because why? You have a Murphy bed now. That's right. Your bed is belongs to Murphy. Eddie Murphy. No. It's Eddie Murphy's bed. You have a Murphy bed. I do have a Murphy bed. What is a Murphy bed, Rick? Tell the it's, people. It's a bed that flips up like a, like a, like into the wall. Like a soft dick. Oh, like a boner. So like if you're wearing briefs. Yeah. And you want to make sure that your dick stays stay secure. Like when you're with your family and you just don't right. want, you don't want to show them. And you them. put your, your, like your head on the band. Exactly. Of your, uh, your briefs. Yeah. Just to keep it like back. That's, that's a Murphy bed. You want to know, actually, I have a quick aside. I know we don't usually jump into a story this quick, but I have to bring this up. My father told me when he was younger, okay, he did get a boner and One he time. popped it up into, you know, his waistband as, yeah. as you do. Uh-huh. And... Uh, he's pretty sure that his father was aware of this because his mother was like, William, John stole my lipstick. And he was just like, no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. What the fuck? Yeah, anyways. So, uh, yeah, your name's not Murphy, but you have a Murphy bed that you can pull out yeah. and put back in the wall. That's right. And you also keep your girlfriend in there, right? Is that correct? That's my girlfriend's not in there. She's not in there. She's not in there. She's, Are you sure? I kind of hear. She's, you don't hear that? She's in South Carolina. She's not in there. Oh, sure. Good alibi. All right. <laughs> Let's see if that stays consistent after two hours of questioning. All right. Um, no, your name is Ricky, right? My name is Ricky. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Or Rick, right? Yeah, whatever works Speaking for you. Speaking of Rickies, you wouldn't happen to be fucking your nephew, would you? Oh my God, you are! Holy shit! What's up with you guys, bro? Let's, cha- let's change the subject. Our boss is here, or my boss is here. Wait a minute! Don't change the subject. Do you understand what the fuck I just said? No. I no. said you're not fucking your nephew, are you? Do you understand why I said that? I don't understand the reference. Ricky Martin. Oh yeah, because uh, what the yeah, hell? Yeah. You think I would just randomly say that? I thought you knew something I also knew that what I'd like to keep secret. Actually, now I'm kind of fucking sketched out that you just wanted to bypass the fucking of the nephew. <laughs> Let's not worry about it. Let's call your nephew right now. What's his name? I don't have a nephew. Really? Yeah. Mm, convenient. Okay, we'll see. Is my microphone just moving around? Yeah. All right, yeah, so your name's Ricky, uh, and we do have somebody else here. Their name is what? Okay, now you can say words. Go ahead, pick it up. I'm saying words. We have somebody off camera, guys. Our producer is producing. Hey, can I get a raise? No. Yeah, can we're I, here. We're if actually, I can get I'll a raise your chair. Uh, they can't because they're foldable fucking chairs. But if you could just, like, maybe like $2 more, okay? I need this, whoa, okay? Whoa. I got bills. Rick, okay? this is a podcast. Are you trying to negotiate a raise in the middle That'd of a podcast? That would be great. $2 more a week? $2 a more a week. Got no, it. no, 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 That's no, no. That's a good no. idea. I like no, that. No, $2 an hour, okay? Listen, I'd listen. like to be on salary, actually. <laughs> Listen. Good, then I can call you 24-7. I love That's it. That's fine. That's fine. Hey. You, wow. You put me on fucking salary. I make more than like what what I'm making now, then we got a deal. Money. All right. Let's talk I'll about be on 24-7. Let's talk about why you need that raise real quick, Rick. I got, I got, the, <laughs> the reason that you need a raise is because people in Mercedes Benzes keep hitting your car. Is that right? Yeah. Last week, uh uh was it was it fourth of July night. Yes. Uh, I parked uh I parked nearby my place. And, um, you know, went on my merry way into right. my room, thought nothing of it. Next right. day, big old dent on the side of my car. On 4th of July. On 4th That's of July. so un-American. And, uh, you know, suspicions arose. I'm like, okay, well, there's a little bit of blue going on in this dent. So it has to be one of the blue cars. Was there red and white as well? Not not this oh, time, unfortunately. It was it. very un-American to not leave a note, actually. God bless <laughs> America. So we summed it down to one Mercedes-Benz. Okay. Um, just parked a few uh, feet away from me. Yeah. Uh, and we looked on the, the security camera, which, thank God, was like 1080p. It was incredible. i never seen anything. Have you ever seen, like, a good quality security cam in your life? No, but I saw a 4K video from Jonathan, our last guest, and it was incredible. 
it was, that is not my fault. Oh, that's wh- not my fault. What are you talking that's about? That's not my fault. What are you talking that's not about? My fucking fault. What do you mean? I don't even know what you're saying. I'm not even. What? Okay, so we saw the security cam, and it was a Mercedes. These these two bozos, you know, come out of their Mercedes. No, <laughs> they fucking, go. You they, sound like my grandma. Bozos. <laughs> They they come in and they want to back in next to my car. Meanwhile, there's like right. six spots available to them they could they could have used. Right. They 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 go out and then they back in and hit the side of my car. Right. Which is fantastic. And they're like, oh, no hesitation, park into one of those six parking spots. So they drove away from your car after they. It was a hit it and run, baby. Hit and fucking run. So what did you do? What did I do? Yeah. Nothing for a whole week. What? Whoa. I did absolutely nothing. No, 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 Rick. Tell them what you did, though. Oh, I, I, I thought it would be funny if I if I let them know that I know in yeah. a very humorous, in a hu- hu- funny way. So I took my car and I parked right next to their car. But unlike them, I backed mine in correctly. Right. I thought it would have been funnier if you fucked their car up. If you backed in. And if I like. <laughs> Just, you're like the same uh, exact dent. Yeah, just be like tag. You're it. Yeah, that'd be fucked fuckers. Up. You know what I mean? Up. That's a little rude. No, it's not rude. It's kind of great. Anyways, has there been any resolution to this? Um. Yeah. What's the resolution? Okay. I actually don't know because you, you don't know. You're like, oh, let's okay, save it so for the podcast. On Wednesday, we got wind okay. from them. Okay, because I had to text them. I, I had to reach out to, to you got wind to the criminals. Okay. I had to reach out to the criminals and be like. Oh, hey, guys, you know, remember me? I'm the car you, you hit not too long ago. Right. And they're like, oh, yeah. No apology, by the way. Haven't had an apology since. And so That's the worst. made a phone call with them, uh, gave them a quote. They're like, well, this doesn't seem right, so we're going to get another guy to uh, do a second quote for us, if you don't mind, which I, I don't okay. mind, as long as my car gets fucking fixed. Right. Um, that was on Thursday. Right. I haven't heard from them since. Well, they're probably still searching under the bridges, you know, I have, to try to find the fucking guy they're going to pretend to be their mechanic and be like, listen, bro, we're going to give you this 20 bucks. We need you to fucking say this shit. All right. <laughs> there is no dent. You see this massive crater right here? <laughs> That's actually not no, there. No dent. That's no actually dent. a part of the car. <laughs> Ese no dent. No, no. No dent here, my, my friend, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Mi amigo, no. No, I don't know what you're talking about, man. So, well, that's so you still haven't heard any word. I haven't heard a fucking lick. All and right. you know what the best the kicker is? Yeah. The guy worked at a body shop for 12 years. What a fucking loser, right? No, no, I mean not, not him. You know, having the career of you know somebody who does repairs and shit. But the fact that he's like, by the way, I'm kind of a professional at this, and, uh, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm not. He's like, well, I am. <laughs> I think I'm the professional. I think that we need to uh, do exactly what Jonathan said to this guy, where we fucking cut the, you know, we don't slash the tires, but we just make it so that they slowly like decompress and over time they'll never be able to fill it back up no, of type of not. shit. I think you should just do that to his car. So maybe we do that on like the inside part of the car instead of the outside, so it's less visible. On the inside of the tire, you mean? Like the yeah, the inside. So, but the, I thought that the, it's the 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 part where you twist the thing is then that where you're supposed to cut it i don't remember what he said i don't do you remember half the things john fucking says no but it looks so stunning in 4k when he says it oh <laughs> my god beard is so I'll nice tell you that, oh, it really is i'm actually so glad he recorded in 4k have you ever slashed anyone's tires by the way no i haven't had the opportunity to but uh maybe if my boss doesn't give me a raise i might my dad took, <laughs> my dad took me on a mission to slash someone's tires really yeah in the middle of the night and it was this guy who had actually stabbed my dad. <laughs> who the fuck used is going on? Which dad, by the way? My father, my real father. Okay, 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 okay. So I never told you how my real father was stabbed on my 18th birthday? No. What? No, I don't think you told that one. My father was stabbed by my, my friend I went to high school with on my 18th birthday. The guy was looking for me. My dad is a bit of a, you know, hard ass and then was like, you know, fuck you. They got into a tussle and then he ends up getting stabbed. So... In retaliation for this, because my dad even refused medical treatment, but the guy did get arrested and charged with a felony because he was at this point 18. Mm. My dad, one night we went and went to go slash this motherfucker's tires and he brought me along with him. This is what your friend gets. Right. Anyways. (laughs) Daddy, no. Yeah, that was a crazy, and that was on Friday the 13th, by the way, because my birthday sometimes falls on that day. Right. But anyways... Anyways, guys, uh, it's like, yeah, my dad was stabbed and we slashed some tires. Now, going back to the podcast, if you've never Thanks, watched. Daddy. What? 
that was perfect timing for that button. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so anyway, going back to uh, this podcast, what it's about if you've never watched it before, this is a podcast where two dumb guys give dumb answers to life's greatest questions. So We don't, we don't know any of this. Why don't we go ahead and get to the questions, Rick? Are you ready? <laughs> no, I've never been ready. We've been, this is the 37th episode. I've never been ready. Is this 37? This is 37. What, and I technically 38, right? Because you botched one episode's audio. Shut the fuck up. No, you did. You botched it. Love you, Rick. Yeah. Hate you, Rick. That was fucking David's episode. He loves you, and you fucked his episode, man. Where was David yesterday? Being a bitch. Yeah, I said it, David. I hope you're watching. I sent him a picture of my ass. Yeah, I know. No, I sent him a picture of your ass. Let's clarify. That's true. You're All right, right first right, question, bad. Rick. Are you ready for this? I guess. Where have y'all been? We've been trying to get a Murphy bed in this room. <laughs> fucking A, bro. That's all the time spent was just yeah. getting a Murphy bed in here let's, so I have more space. Let's tell him the truth, Rick, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I, it's me. We had to wait till his girlfriend was out of town. So no, no, we're not. Don't blame my. Then she's gonna actually feel bad about it, and I don't. I, that's not true. Well, I think this is the part where I need to interject because oh, for yeah, go sake. ahead. In 2020, before there was a girlfriend, before there was anything, I said, "You don't have a lot of space." Because if you remember, we can cut back and show yeah. when the bed was in the shop. I'm talking OG, old school to his oh, podcast. OG, yeah. And you saw the bed. Remember those? That's right. And I said, you know what? Bed would be good if it was in a cabinet called a Murphy bed, buddy. That's true. You did say that a long time ago. But at this point, Rick didn't really care because he wasn't using that bed for anything other than sleeping. And now... Look, here here was my issue, okay? You know how much that Murphy bed is? No. It's not my problem. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> Let me just tell just you. make it and, happen. And we're back full circle asking for the raise. <laughs> exactly. By the way, can I get a raise? Um, no. What do you mean, no? I think he's... Watch saying, the productivity go all the way fucking up, okay? As soon as you give oh, me a so you admit that you don't do a lot of good work now, and I should I have to pay more to get better work. It's time for the lightning round! <laughs> it's not time for the lightning round. Rick, I think the most he's willing to give you is maybe like a raisin, but not a raise. <laughs> Raisinette know. with chocolate on top. Ooh, like, that's actually decadent. Look, What's your favorite movie theater snack? Movie theater snack? There you go. There's a lightning round question. Well, hold on. Off we're not, cycle. We're off. We're totally Tough. off here. Hijack the show. Quickly, my favorite movie theater snack, maybe like cookie dough bites or some shit like that. Cookie I don't dough know. bites? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I like to get diarrhea at the movies. <laughs> Rick, it I looks like, like it going in. looks like it coming out. I, I, I like going to like elevated movie theaters, okay? Like fancier ones. Like, like in the, Denver? The, the seats that like recline. Oh, so like, you want tuna sashimi. <laughs> What the fuck? You want a whole dinner while you I watch a movie? Like the delicious nachos with like the fried chicken on the side. What? What? <laughs> what? What the I, fuck? Like the, the platter. Delicious nachos I'll, with fried chicken on the side. The, the little platter. What? Have you never been to Sinopolis or whatever the fuck it's called no. in Coconut Grove? No. Oh my god. I try to stay away from the Grove because of the traffic. What a spoiled little bitch. Anyways. What do you mean? I back to the original question. Where have you been? So your Murphy bed, right? Yes. We're, you, we're your, I don't know. Just talk about okay, it. Okay, so the Murphy what, bed was... Where just, have we been? Where have we been, Rick? We we have not been doing anything in regarding the podcast. Yeah. I had a, a, a futon thing that went from couch to bed. Yeah, you went from a bed to a futon. And that was just very uncomfy. Right. And not fun at all to use. Right. So I decided, you know, thanks to my boss and my, my mother, yes. you know... That this would be the ideal choice. Cabinet. Maybe we'll take a picture of the futon, the, the not the futon, but the Murphy bed itself, and just have it like plugged in there. Three, two, one. Okay, okay we're done with that. Um, okay, we're not going to take that picture. Shut the fuck up. All right. But that's the move we've made. Um, and now you have space for activities like podcasting. Now I can fit my whole dick in here. And now. <laughs> Oh my God! I thought they were cutting it in half, though, weren't they? Oh. Weren't they taking oh off? Oh my God! Some of the, no. Weren't they taking off some of the extra? Okay, so hold on. Let me just. Okay, so here's here's what's going on. Where's is my that cream? also where we've been? No. Can you hand me the cream over there on the desk? Uh, <laughs> no. Do not. Because I was gonna actually it. show you guys like a live thing of like how I how I do the cream and put it around my dick. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we're we're definitely not doing that right. Okay, so at one point in time, I had an irregular pain on my dick. Okay, right. we're here now, guys. Just right. just let it happen. Okay. And so I went to the the dick doctor, and he said, "Listen, this foreskin's got to go." The dick doctor—that's an actual guy on TikTok. 
Okay, different person. Okay. And the dick doc on TikTok, actually. He All said, right. this foreskin's got to go. Yeah. It's way too tight. And I'm like, doc, Damn, I don't want to take this thing off. All right? It's part of me. Okay, it's the third Are hoodie. Are you fucking kidding me? It's the third hoodie in the, in the, in the Three Hoodies podcast. <laughs> and he's like, all right, here's some, here's some cream. I think it's like steroid. So now you have shit. to fucking massage cream on it all the time, which isn't like the worst deal ever. Like you're I, like, oh, I do this anyway. I get the jerk off with like fucking lube, but it's actually medicine. That's great. <laughs> Put that jergens away and use this instead. <laughs> that's that's what's going on now. Exactly. So you're just like putting fabric softener on the hood. Basically. So like again, no. If you could grab me that, okay. I'm not grabbing you your dick cream. So it's like fabric softener for your hoodie. Basically, yeah. Okay, wow. So it just softens things up, makes it more elastic. It's downy. I got it. <laughs> it sounds fucking great. So, okay, we had to wait for you to get your dick in order. We had to wait for you to get your room in order. We had to wait for you to get your life in order. Oh, yeah. Now I have my life in order, luckily, but just now I'm in debt. Luckily, we're not <laughs> waiting for you to get a raise, right? No, can I get a raise? I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck, we're about to be fucked. You know why I, I insisted he come here so I could make him as uncomfortable as possible? Well, okay. It's working. That's, yeah, that's the point. That's the point. Yeah, and that's I, why we've, uh, we I, have like extra questions that we brought in last minute from some of your employees. Oh, no. I, I think <laughs> I'm not. It's all not happening. I, I, think, uh, I think he's uncomfortable when you asked him to pass the dick cream, Rick. So, yeah. Are you more uncomfortable about the dick cream or the raise? Both. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, okay. <laughs> Where else have we been? You went to South Carolina for your birthday. Yeah, my girlfriend has a a home just right by the river, and it was <laughs> a lovely time. It was a good time. Right by the river. Right by the river. <laughs> and you. Just... It was fantastic. We'll put pictures right over here. Nope. Uh, we're not gonna put pictures. We're not gonna put any put pictures. pictures. <laughs> All right. But if you're looking for an Airbnb, oh, in South Carolina. In South Carolina. All right, I know what just a fucking random thing. All shut right. the fuck up. You've plugged dumber shit before. I've never it's not dumb. The Airbnb is great, but you plugged some pretty stupid shit. It's just my music. Exactly. exactly. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck goes to South Carolina anyway? What you, South Carolina is great. I loved it. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I have friends there. I fuck with South Carolina. I want to go back. All right, let's go. I know a great Airbnb. Me we too. Could stay in. Hey, All right, perfect. So go. that's where you've been. I don't even know where the fuck I've been. When's the last time we saw each other? What happened? Uh, we saw Jonathan, right? Was no, that after the No, sport? we went to Coat. Oh, we went to... Oh, yes. We went to a Michelin star restaurant. We did. Noah was there. I was, was there. It was his idea, right? Coat's great. Coat's great. It's fantastic. It's a, uh, it's a Korean barbecue, and I told Noah I don't fuck with Korean barbecue because... I don't fuck with Koreans. No, I'm playing. No, it's because <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's because of the fact that you have to cook your own fucking food. Like, what the fuck am I going out to dinner for if I have to cook? And because it gets hot as fuck. Like, I went on a date once, Korean barbecue. I was sweating my ass off. He assured me that there would be no sweat. And we would not cook our food. And we would not cook our food. And that was true. And added bonus, while I was waiting for my table at the bar, I walked past joe jonas that's right joe jonas was there that's right and you know if joe jonas goes there you know it's a good place that's right exactly it was really underwhelming though as soon as i saw him i was like yeah he's a normal fucking person piece of shit is he shorter than <laughs> us too i mean he's around the same height yeah what a fucking he joke. got a raise though yeah he was the only well, you don't get to bring up the raise <laughs> see, see you know that's the problem it's like i'm the one who needs the raise okay you uh, don't bring up the raise i get to bring up the raise but all you have to do is say yes that's the, it <laughs> Don't worry, you don't need the raise no. because dinner was covered by yours truly, and it was it was very good. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. No, of oh, course. this is where I have to say thank you. Thank you, no, Taylor. No, 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 you don't have to say. Thanks, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> it, 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 listen, it's it's not a big deal, and it was good, and I didn't sweat. The only one that was burning up in there was Joe Jonas. But um, psh, go ahead and hit that button for me, Rick. See, I can't reach the mixer anymore. That's more accurate. It's almost like I suggested. Maybe we should point it in your direction. All right. It's almost like you did. We were trying to hook you up with Joe Jonas, too. Hey, <laughs> the uh, the ice cream there was also Dude, fucking phenomenal. We had to run it back. We asked, we asked them to give us a second round of dessert, and then they said, listen, that's great. We will, but we need you to get the fuck up out of the table. <laughs> so we're going to give you the ice cream for free, and we're going to give you free drinks. Oh, great we'll do it that was great so shout shout out to them but they uh, took care of us yeah absolutely Coat's great 
Los Angeles or uh, New York and uh, man, <coughs> yeah, Mich- both Michelin starred now. Weren't you heckling the the waiter? No, were you giving them a hard time? No, I thought I, it was great. Are you sure? Well, we had so many different waiters. Actually. Oh yeah, that was true. There was a lot of different That's people. There. It was great. They're they're less waiters and more meat flippers is what I like to call them. Hey, they they handle the meat. They man. flip it at the right time. That's right. So I don't have to. They'll do it so you don't have to. So, anyways, yeah. Th- what else? Anything else that we've been up to? You come out with like two new songs. Yeah, you know, music. That's a thing. We'll we'll talk more about music a little bit later, I guess. Yeah, because I'm releasing my album now. What? Yeah. Debut? It's called Secure. And you got a fucking feature from Drake because he follows you? He doesn't spoke to me since. Wow. He, he doesn't fuck sense. with you anymore, he bro. With me at all. He told you to take care. Drake, if you're seeing this, I just want to let you know I'm not hurt. I'm like I'm not mad, but I'm a little disappointed that we haven't really been able to like keep this friendship going. But thanks for following me. It's becoming a little bit more one sided than it used to be. I've seen the DMs. Yeah, I've seen the DMs too. They're my DMs. I was gonna say, is it all just DMs of you talking to Drake and him not responding? Lately. Like, as, lo- as long as he said as long as I see on the bottom scene. That's all that fucking matters. So he sees it. He sees him all the so time. So you feel seen by Drake. <laughs> right, right. So he knows I exist. <laughs> Literally. But like, what do you do? Like, hey, man, uh, you want to come and play Airsoft? Hey, hey man. Hey, man, you want to come play Airsoft? Hey, man, you want to go be on the podcast? He asked hey, him man. to be on the podcast. I didn't even know that. I hey, was man, like, Aw. Do you, can you check out my friend's music? Wow. Um, hey, I man, know, what so video games do you like to play? So nice. He likes Red Dead Redemption, by the way, if anybody's asking. Um, wow. But, you know, to be seen is a nice thing. You're seen. Wow. I'm so relevant. Wow. I want to sell that Instagram. Your, for like your haircut's grand. not the only thing that's seen anymore. <laughs> I shit you not. Like, I need to sell that Instagram. Do it. Sell it to me, please. I don't think that's allowed. Yeah, I Bullshit. Sell it to How Tay. much? How much? 20 grand. 20 grand. Get the fuck out of uh, here. Fine, 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 fine. I'm, I'm highballing. 15. Grand? No, grand. It's fucking Drake. Here, yeah, you can have this watch. That's How much is the watch? Worth 15. Is it? Yeah. All right, give me the watch. No, fuck you. Then what the fuck are you here for? I'm not paying you 15 grand. Give for me fucking, fucking 15 grand. 45,000 followers that are, are 12 years old. I'm sorry, but Drake. Except for Drake? It's Drake. And remember that Oregon uh, football player that added me? Oh, whoop de fucking do. Yeah, it's a fucking uh, we don't Oregon give a D1 duck football player. Fuck. Fucking duck. And then I checked, I you know, maybe he's watching. I don't know if Jordan's watching, but I looked at his stats. Jordan who? Jordan Kura. Oh, I thought you were talking about my brother. No, yeah, yeah, your your brother. Same size as you, same stature. Played fucking D-line in fucking Oregon. Wait, same size as me? Isn't he taller? Who? Jordan. No, my brother? Oh, no. See, you're fucking fucking me up here. Which Jordan are we talking about? We're talking about the the, the one who followed me yesterday. The Oregon... uh, the Oregon player. He unfollowed you, bro. No, he didn't unfollow me. I just checked last he night. He didn't fucking unfollow me. He said you're. But I looked at his stats and I'm like, oh wow, that's really cool. And then I looked at the stats and it said he only got three tackles within his four years of playing. I was like, oh well. He's no Drake. Let's put not. it that way. But I hope the the business is going well. Well, what I business? Uh, I think it does like a home loans thing. Are you shouting? Are you giving this guy a whole shout out right now? You asked me. You fucking asked me. You asked me. What do you want from me? You're giving a a subtle shout out. Hey, I hope the I hope his business. Somebody pay me for this shit. All right. What else have we been up to, bro? You're wearing my company shorts. Thoughts about yesterday? I appreciate that. Let me give you the good like. Yeah. Exactly. You got (laughs) you got some pockets there. I do. You've been crazy carding still. Yeah, a little bit. Um, Here and there. I don't know. Wait, did I go? Did I go to the Philippines? Was that before the Jonathan episode or after? That was before. That was before. Oh, it was after? Was it after? After. So I went to the Philippines. You went to the Philippines. Oh, by I the got way, food guys. Poisoning. You called the me. last week. I think I called you, right? <laughs> he called me. He's like, I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm dying. I did. My health. <laughs> I was dying, bro. I, you know when you sh- have diarrhea and throw up at the same time? Yeah. Like, bleh, and well, it's both. Like, it's coming out of both ends, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, nah, that wasn't fun. That doesn't was, look like it. Nah, it was fucking. But otherwise, great trip, great country, yeah. and I trust it fully. I don't even think it was their food. I think it was some other shit. I don't know. I think it was a fucking Italian restaurant. You so did me wrong. The Italian restaurant in the Philippines Just, did you wrong? Actually, there was an Italian restaurant in the Philippines. I'm not even kidding, and it was pretty good. But it wasn't the Italian one. I think it was a Spanish restaurant potentially, or it could have been some eel. Have you ever eaten the eel? I've had eel. Yeah, it was is that the right. slimiest thing you've had in your mouth? Tell the truth. 
Tell the tripe. truth. I think tripe is the slimiest thing I've had Some in my mouth. Slippery shrimp. Tripe. Tripe. I. Mm, yeah. I don't it's know. like when you have like pho. What? What did you just say? Pho. What the pho, bro? No, I'm just kidding. That's why we can't have nice things. That's why we can't have nice things. What Fuck. about raw oysters? I love That's raw. slimy. Raw no, oysters are so fuck. fucking good. I don't fuck with oysters. Your dad fucks with it, and I love him for that because he made a whoa, contraption. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My dad is dead. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to me. <laughs> Eddie, sorry. Okay, no, no. I'm just kidding. It's Eddie, my stepdad. Yeah, he yeah. loves him. Yeah. And he made he, a contraption. He made a fucking contraption that opens up the the shell into halves. Shucker. Yeah. He sh- yeah a, it's an oyster shucker. A shucker. shucker. Don't hardly know her. Thank you. You brought her. You shuck her. All right, moving on. Okay. All right. Anything else, Rick? Anything else we've been up to? Why are you laughing, Noah? Because I just I just heard my reel <laughs> made right in front of my very own eyes. <laughs> just have, there's so many reels of that. You probably could do a compilation. You bought her. You shuck her. You yeah. found her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I fucking hate this. Anything else we've been up to, Rick? Before we move on to the next question. Uh, let's see here. There's been so much. I just don't even know. I don't even know when the last time we did this podcast. We're back, guys. We're back. Here we are. Nobody gives a fuck. We've got I'll a new setup. See you guys setup. in like two more months. <laughs> yeah, see you guys in two more months. No, we're gonna. We have to get regular with My it. My dick's itchy. No, can you get the cream? Jesus, <laughs> God, Jesus Christ! I don't I'm leaving. I'm on strike. It's not for that, is it? Is it itch? No, it's not for itch. Okay, it's not. It's just you know. All right, we're gonna move on to the next question, Rick. Are you ready? Do we have any body suits to give away? Oh, yeah. Thoughts about yesterday. Just drop some body suits. Thanks, Daddy. I knew you were going to do that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so ladies, thoughts about yesterday.com if you want to get one. Thanks for the plug, Rick. Thanks for the little alley oop, as you will, right? Okay, so. It's a terrible alley oop. Are you ready for the next question? Yeah, what's the fucking question? What's a core memory in your life that you got better from? A core memory in my life that I got better from. Yeah. Hmm. It was that one time in college where I got really high and drunk all the time. And then my parents... That one time? I thought it was a lot of times. Shut your mouth. And then my my parents finally knocked on the door of my college dorm and they're like, son, you're coming home. Yeah. And just like that, I turned my life around. They said, my boy. Boy, you coming home today. You turned your life around. Not really, but, you know, I did, did less smoking and less drinking, that's for sure. That's true. We're both sober right now. I'm sober. I've been a couple months. Uh, no, not a couple months sober, but I've I've been rarely, rarely drinking. Rarely. Blue moon. Blue moon. Crazy. Not the drink. We used the... to literally drink during the podcast. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And our fucking logo has us with beer in our hand. Yeah, so what do we, now, do we have to trade out the, the beers for something else now? For fucking, what's this? Essentia product placement. Now we're going to fucking have water in our hand. But we still want Blue Chew to sponsor. Yeah, we need Blue Chew, please. Yeah, God 100%. damn it, bro. Like, Fuck. Please. I can't believe that fucking homeless man stole my shit when I got robbed. <laughs> fucking asshole. He took everything else but the Blue Chew. No, no, he took everything. No, he didn't take no. anything else except for the Blue Chew. Well, I didn't have anything of value. He took... He took not my shit. He took some other person's shit that was of value, and he took blue chew, which was my shit of value to me. So this guy's just got. A, I didn't a, even get to use it. A <laughs> random assortment of somebody else's shit. If you ever a, with a massive hog, dude. Going on. If you ever see a crackhead running down the street with some fucking AirPods, my old ID, and a fucking hard on, then you know. <laughs> okay, He's that's like, the guy. That's the fucking guy. He's he's not Taylor Edmonds. And he's not fucking around either, but maybe he is. Yeah, I, Jesus. Anyways, uh, core memory that you got better from was when your parents pulled you out of school because you were being a fuck up. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Um, you know, now I'm kind of torn between two. When you said that, that kind of reminded me of me also getting kicked out of school. But I, you know, I got kicked out for a little bit of a different reason. I've talked about this, right? Yeah. I had a fake doctor's note. <laughs> And then I, you know, they suspended me from the university or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then I had to come back two years later and finish like one fucking credit to get my degree. Really annoying, but I did it. So that kind of made me better because it taught me to stop trying to fucking finesse and take shortcuts in a way. Um, You're either just, you're going to just fuck up Mm. or you're going to, you're going to win. Don't try to 
fucking like weasel your way and just kind of and Noah's over there like really when did you learn that because you were <laughs> fucking up at the job and you know what I mean um I just I just love how you have a song called work yeah <laughs> and I'm like called bullshit work. It's not I don't remember work. seeing that. That's oh, just no. that's just my part. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. Like, Put the work. work in. Work. Yeah, yeah. You scream out. Wow, that's right. What's I the name of that song? Countdown. Yeah. Countdown. And you scream. I was counting down to when you wouldn't work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Every day. Straight up. Man, get this fucking guy out of here. But no, in, in reality, it, it kind of showed me that you just got to uh, work. You know, if you fuck up, you got to own it. Like, you can't, you can't just, you know take shortcuts and weasel your way out of shit in a way like if you fuck up you just gotta own it you you eh, yeah i fucked up i did it my bad i'm so glad you conveniently learned that after you quit this job no 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 it's i'm saying how that happened i'm saying i learned it before oh <laughs> just didn't feel like applying it. it just yeah it was just it was in poor application at this point that's right um uh, but no it was early in the morning i understand exactly it was well, you know, I, I would, if I fell asleep, I'd be like, yeah, I fucked up. You know, I fucked up. That's owning it. I, I said it. I, yeah, I'm fucking up. I was fucking up. Uh, but I should have, what I learned from that was to, if you're fucking up, get get the fuck out. <laughs> All right? Yeah, you just gotta. How dare you waste don't, this man's time? Don't take other people down with you. That's that's a good lesson. That's, that's the lesson. Noah's like, finally, he's getting it. But yes. you know, that, that <laughs> day was, late and a dollar short. There you go. <laughs> Damn, Rick. The, the day late was me. The dollar short was you. Uh, <laughs> he wants that raise. Oh anyway, get a raise. Leave that's me alone. Ac actually. <laughs> I think Noah just came up with the newest name for our podcast. Instead of two hoodies, it's going to be called A Day Late and A Dollar Short. I like it. It's featuring T-Money and Rick. Um, but Rick, you know, that wasn't the core memory that I was going to go with originally. The core memory that I was going to go with originally is a little more dark. Oh. And it's um, basically, I was living in California, and my girlfriend at the time... She was supposed to come visit me, but then she kind of broke up with me, and I was really going through it, and I, try, I was trying to convince her to still come visit me mm. because it's like I needed her to say it in person to me. You know, I was like, please. You closure? In my mind, it was kind of like, I can win her back if she just comes and sees me. You know what I mean? No. I'm kind of glad she didn't come and see me because mm. I was like living on some lady's couch. Like, what the fuck? But anyway, up until literally... The day that she was supposed to leave, I thought she was coming because she was like, all right, I'll come and see you still, blah, blah, blah. And then she didn't, and I found out that she didn't get on the plane, mm. and I literally kind of lost my mind, like, to the point where I beat the shit out of myself, Rick. You, yes. You assaulted yourself? I did. I punched myself in the face repeatedly. Yeah, really fucking twisted, right? Uh, because I was just hurting so much, and I just, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like when you want to find something else that hurts more. It was like a self-harm thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like I'm too much of a pussy to cut myself, you know what I mean? Right. Like I would get a knife. You're not on the Papa Roach kind of level. I would get a knife. Yeah, exactly. I would get a knife, but I would be like, that's why I was punching myself. Like, no, you don't fucking. And then I'd, you know, like, don't touch that. Like, But I was oh, fucking beating terrible. this shit. Oh, yeah, really bad. So, you know. I remember that day always because I'm just like, that was the day that I like lost my mind. I was putting somebody on such a level of like need. Like right? a pedestal? Yeah, not just a pedestal, but like thinking that I needed this person and their love and their validation and all this. And then I, that I got to a point of hurting myself even more, mm -hmm. right? Like physically to match the internal pain in it and i was just like i can never allow myself to get to this state again i was i've lost control of myself you know what i mean so yeah i'll never forget that but very fucked up dark little th segue sorry. jesus christ sorry to laugh. take it sorry to take it down that road just go ahead and hit that one button again so we can just reset thanks daddy all right you're welcome all right anyways <laughs> So yeah, um, listener, those are our core memories. You, you don't have anything else, do you, Rick? I got nothing. You got nothing. Just fucking next. Just question. just the drinking and the smokings. 
and I, the and the bad grades. Did, you know? Oh, you know what? Funny that you said like um, that you faked your fucking doctor's note. Yeah. Because that's what I. My parents were just like, "Oh my gosh, you must be doing so well with your grades since you know we haven't heard anything." Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. So what I did was. I uh, I typed up a little something. Yeah. I gave myself all A's. <laughs> you actually, bro, that's like movie shit. You yeah. actually did I that. literally did that, but I didn't do a very good job. Like, it was literally report card. <laughs> it's like, they don't do fucking report cards in college. What the fuck? And then I put A, 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 A. You yeah. gave yourself yeah. like a fucking satisfactory for your you behavior. Think I was, you think I'm an idiot now. Just... <laughs> Oh wow, I was worse. Was that to Noah specifically that you were saying that, or just the general populace? You thought I was an idiot now, <laughs> <laughs> so you were worse somehow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. horribly. So that's I, that's actually impressive. I'd like to see that. Yeah. All right, there's improvement happening slowly but surely. Well, great, great. That's and that's what matters, right? Because that's the second part of this question: is how did you get better from that core memory, right? Well, anyway, Rick, you know what time it is. Thanks, Daddy. Oh, Not exactly. Oh my god, lightning, 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 holy shit. What the fuck? Lightning. Oh god, lightning, 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 lightning. It's a lightning round, Rick. Every time we play that, I feel like there's a new little like bit of audio that pops up there that I don't remember. That you don't remember? Yeah. What, what was it this time? <laughs> was it the poor K or? I think it was. Mama, Papa. Yeah, Mama, Mama, Papa. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Do you, I feel like you say something about my butthole. I don't know. My asshole. Oh, you say my yeah. asshole. Okay. That's great. We're well, really going to work on that. It's lightning round, Rick. And this is where we try, we attempt to answer questions rapid fire, but we fail. Okay, okay. so are you, are you ready for this, Rick? Yeah, I'm so ready. Okay, first question. Should you care about what people consider or only listen to numbers? Wait, what the fuck kind of lightning round question is that? Oh, God, Rick. This actually stems from a discussion I was having with my friends where they posted an article and it was saying the top 12 cities uh, where people, like, in terms of what they consider to be a net worth that, you know, makes them feel comfortable living in their city, right? Okay. And basically I said, I don't think they understood that's what the article was saying, that it was a survey of, like, Oh, how much net worth do you feel like you need to have to feel okay living in the city, right? Mm -hmm. I think my friends just looked at the article my other friend posted and assumed it was the most expensive cities to live in. Mm -hmm. And they were like, how is this city not on their houses? And I'm like, first of all, this is read, guys, because it's saying this is what people consider, right? And also, who gives a fuck what people consider? I want to see the hard data. And Miami was not on the fucking list, by the way, which is... Again, that's why you know this list is fucking retarded because we already know. We can't say that. Fucking bleep it. I don't give a shit. All right? Anyways, moving on. So, that's where this question stems from. Yes. Do you care about hard data or do you care about how people feel about shit? I like my data. You're just a numbers guy. I like my numbers. Men lie, women lie. That's right. Numbers. And my boss won't give me a raise. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my fucking life. Okay. All right. And so, should he consider that or should he go off of the data of your production? Oh, no. He should avoid the data completely. Should he consider your feelings? Or... He should consider my feelings. Okay. Noah, yeah. do you have anything to say? So, about you're it? not a numbers guy after all, it turns yeah. out. It, it all changes. It's, it's okay. Okay. Wait, 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 hold on. You know what? It could be a numbers guy. Imagine if I was paid more. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the numbers. The, the, the projected numbers. Okay. See? Okay. There we go. Maybe you need to create a presentation. I'll. You know what? A slideshow. There you go. And it's just arrows. And then you're just like, here is pay. And then you're saying, here is productivity. I want it on microfiche. There you go. Microfiche. Go <laughs> microfiche. -er. What the fuck is microfiche? You'll find you don't know what order. microfiche is? No. Is that Microsoft? Mixed no, with something else. That's old slide projectors in, a, in school. Oh, I've never. Yeah, heard you remember that. the the thing that back in my the, day, the you used to have to go to the library there. and you'd have to, you'd have these like long rolls of tape yeah. that you'd put in like a magnifying 
like a shadow box, but it would magnify it so that you yeah. can see old articles. That's how they archive stuff. Dude, what the fuck? Do you know, by the <laughs> now way... Now you just go to Wikipedia. Do you know how expensive a disposable camera is now, by the way? I don't. How much was that camera yesterday? Dude, fucking two cameras for like 40-something dollars. What? Yes. The fuck? Absurd. They were like nothing. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, this is the lightning round. Lightning, lightning, L lightning. Lightning, 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 lightning. Okay, wow. what's your thoughts on abortion? Uh... <laughs> These are some great lightning round that questions. Is a, that is a tough question. Come on, man. sum it up, dude. I'm on the side that people have the right, uh, women have the right to get abortions. All right, so pro-choice, right? No, we don't like fucking labels around here. We, women should get abortions when they feel like they need to get abortions. Okay. Yes. Yes. Abortions. I think we all agree with that, right? Right? But oh, I, I said my opinion, right? Yeah. 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 Noah? Have, have you? <laughs> I don't have a uterus, so I'm, I'm just don't even include me in the conversation. Yeah, well, How about that? We all don't have uteruses, uh, as far as I know. Rick, have you ever uh, had to pay for one? No. Okay. Have you? No. I was. I wouldn't have been able to afford it. I would have just have a kid right now. Facts. Otherwise. So, but, hey, but there's still time. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, worst way to die. Uh, Probably abortion. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with Hey, go, it's going back on that. I almost was aborted, though. I <laughs> swear to God. Fuck? My mother had the appointment, okay. and the day of, she started break. She broke down crying. Okay. And my dad was like, look, I support you whatever decision you want. They, weren't, they were fucking 17 and 19 years old. Mm -hmm. And then she didn't go, and that's why I'm here and celebrating my 30th birthday soon. Thanks, Mom. Pro choice. She should have fucking pulled the plug. You're right? So, but yeah, that's probably the worst way to die. <laughs> what do you got to say? Right? I'd say drown. I was going to say drowning, but you know, abortions. You think drowning is worse than burning alive? I say drowning. Mm. I say drowning. Okay. Definitely say drowning. Mm. Drowning is quicker, though. No, it's not. Is it? That's fucking agonizing. Uh, I think drowning is quicker. I think once once your lungs fill up, that's it, right? We Ball could, game. We could test it out later, Rick. I think with drowning. <laughs> no, seriously. I think with drowning. I think with drowning you get lightheaded. Obviously, you pass out. Water you go fills unconscious. up, and you get lightheaded. With burning, you get you feel pain. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Just let me light you on fire, and we'll just check, you know we'll just see what happens. Okay. And then you know, obviously, we got to put the fire out, so I'll drown you after that. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You're on fire, and then they they pour too much water on you and drown. You. Right. Exactly. All right, moving on. Uh, have you ever Googled Blue Waffle? Yes. Googled it. I had it for breakfast today. <laughs> really? Really? Absolute, is that what you had? I think this is the Blue Waffle not. you're thinking about. Where did you go Taylor? eat today? I went to brunch at Chica. No. No. There we uh, go. There we go. We had a Blue Waffle yes, from Chica. Everybody Perfect. Googled Blue Waffle in sixth grade. Yeah. And if you didn't, go do it now. You're welcome. Moving on. Yeah. For Ricky, this question is for you. Yes. Or maybe it's for Ricky Martin. No, it's for you. Okay, how's the streaming going? I haven't streamed in months. Wow. So, yeah, because you didn't say that in your recap earlier. Too busy fucking off in South Carolina in your fucking Murphy bed and whatever the fuck, whoever Murphy is. All hey, right. Murphy. So no streaming? Do you plan to get back into it? Absolutely. So your fucking RuneScape character is just in limbo, like doing jack no, shit? No, I've been playing RuneScape this whole time. You've been playing RuneScape, yeah. and you just haven't been doing it on camera? Don't tell my boss, but I've been playing while I've been working. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to give you a lower instead of a raise. Yeah. How do you... You're going to get deductions, okay? Not the good kind Don't either. Don't tell my boss, but I've also been gambling online instead of working. Don't tell my boss, but I've been using the dick cream at work. <laughs> Is that what you've been doing, Rick? Don't dick tell my game? boss, but I've been putting the dick cream on my lips <laughs> <laughs> so I can widen my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? To make my but lips more elastic. I've been using the dick cream as chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? All right. You're disgusting. All right. Moving on. Lightning round. For T-Money, what's the hardest part of your music career so far? You know, just getting people to give a fuck, honestly. <laughs> That's probably the hardest part. Yeah, man. Uh, so, yeah. Stream my new single. You'll hear about it soon. I'm about to talk about it probably soon. <laughs> right, Rick? All right, <laughs> moving on. What's your biggest goal for 2023? Stretch your dick skin, obviously. Make 100,000. Make a 
<laughs> Whoa, you're going to need a hell of a raise for that, Rick. Unless the gambling's really going well. Are you, like, pulling a Drake on stake? Is he giving you, like, don't tell my boss. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been selling <laughs> dick cream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, to the elementary school nearby. So you, jeez, whoa! <laughs> All right, R Kelly, but the R stands for Rick. Piss on what? you! Oh my lord! Okay, so oh, really, make a hundred thousand is your goal for twenty twenty three? That's my goal. Do you have a plan? Yes. What is the plan? It is a, a plan that I'm going to discuss with you later on. Oh, I'm not inviting him unless secret. he wants to be a part. Of, unless he wants to be a part of it. Wow, he's leaving you out. Okay, don't tell my boss. <laughs> don't tell my boss. All right. So, <laughs> my biggest goal for 2023, um, get my health in order. I need to get. How's your stomach? Still the fucking same. I've lost a lot of weight too. I look like a skinny bitch, but. Whatever. Get that summer. You know bud. what I'm saying? That's why I had to get this watch so I can make up for the fucking lack of <laughs> arms. Uh, anyways, I like that. I like that. Right. All right. Moving on. Uh, we all know that Ben Dovers, but do you know Tess Tickles? Do you know that? You know, I'm learning so much every day with these questions. Right. So Tess Tickles. You want to know what's crazy about Tess Tickles? So, when I was in middle school, there was a guy named Austin Stickles, and I, I'm not kidding, Austin Stickles, and there was a girl named Tess Rowan, I want to say, wow, I, re I really used the full government, and uh, we used to be like, you guys gotta get married, bro, please, like, we need this, but like, he was fucking ugly, and she was hot as fuck, so it didn't oh, work. Oh, there was no chance. No shot. No shot, Do you want Facebook to make sure that didn't happen? Yeah, right? It's like, I check, and they're like... Oh my god, testicles! Testicles! <laughs> Bro, imagine though. That would be fucking amazing. I, I, God, I pray That's actually somewhere funny. out there in the world. There's, I'm sure there's some people that have some funny names. All right, anyways, uh, next question. Any thoughts on the shocker? Shocker? Don't. Hardly know. <sighs> Any thoughts on the shocker? Or do you just like to go full-fledged fist in the ass? What are your thoughts there, Rick? Two in the pink, one in the stink, or as we used to say, two in the goo, one in the poo in the one episode we did, or you just go full fist in the ass. What do you say? <laughs> What's up with you, Rick? You know what? Why, why you handle that, Rick? Let me just interrupt and say, because you're at a loss for words, I can tell. Let me just say that, have you ever been like, you know, you know, fingering a girl, yes. and then you're just like, Man, I can fit a lot of fingers in here <laughs> to the point where you're like, you start to realize that she definitely has been fisted before and she likes it because the more fingers you put in, the more. No, I don't think I've had that. Um... I have. I have. I've been there and I've you... been like, oh, wow. I don't know why I never realized, but there's a lot of there's a lot of room for activities in here. It's almost like she had a Murphy bed in her <laughs> pussy. It's crazy. All right. Anyways, Rick, what's your what's your thoughts on the like the full fledged fist in the ass kind of guy or in what? my ass, right? Oh, I don't. Oh, is that what this means? Oh yeah. yeah no, I don't know about that. I have no I was idea. About to direct it over there and ask him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's giving us the. He's waving he's like, us no, off. No, no can do, boys. He's no waving us do. off. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll just go to the next question then. How, lube or no lube? Uh, dick cream. Dick cream. <laughs> dick cream. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. Um, I think it depends, honestly. If you're going to wear a condom, which you should, then you might need the lube because those motherfucking things suck ass. All right? I wear condoms all the time. What? Have you ever heard of foreplay? With your girlfriend? Have you ever heard of foreplay? Yeah. Okay, well, you do the foreplay, and then you put the condom on. What the fuck? No, bro. What the hell? What you, you, you said you were pro-choice. You're allowed to... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, all right. So, anyways, getting canceled. What do we... Oh, KY? No, did you see this here? I'm sending this to you. What is this? KY duration gel for him. Desensitizing gel. 
Thir- like Roman swipes. That's at Walgreens. 36 pumps. Roman wipes. That's at Walgreens. 36 pumps. Latex condom compatible. Des- Wait, hold on. Why the I- fuck do you need a desensitizer if you already got the condom on? The condom is the desensitizer. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? That's kind of weird, So you're though. putting on the desensitizer, and then you have Linkin Park's Numb playing in the background? <laughs> Dude, who wants to fucking <laughs> numb their dick anyway? Like, the whole point... Is, can it be enjoyable for me at fucking any point? My Why God. can't guys just be loved, okay, and feel pleasure? God. God, dude, just fucking... Women are so selfish. Jesus, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 make me sandwich, yeah. Don't, no, don't tell my boss. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, food in the bedroom, yes or no? Yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. Uh, all he does is live in this bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That Murphy bed actually has a closet that leads to a kitchen. There's, all right. So one side is the bed, the other side's the table. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking. Listen, I can't have food in the bedroom. I'm sorry. I, I love eating on my bed. No, you're disgusting as fuck. I refuse. Love I don't know why bed. it bothers me. I can't do it. Uh, the only thing that I can do is like gummies, but I don't gummies. really eat. Yeah, gummies are safe. They're clean, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Like gummy worms? Like gummy bears? No, no. any Not the sugary shit. No, nah, if it's got anything that can crust, flake, nothing like that, no. Like gummies work. With THC? No, no, no. I don't do that. <laughs> but, okay. But like, for example, I've even had gummies in like a more erotic type of way like put gummies on a girl you know what I'm saying like start to you know. I wasn't uh, why are you bring well and I did it to you the one time Rick but god you you mad that I didn't bring you up what the fuck anyway so yeah gummies are okay because they're not messy but I really don't like food in the bedroom at all okay. like That's fair. you know what would be my worst nightmare is if somebody ate one of those nature valley honey oat fucking granola bars oh. in bed that is a fucking nightmare I have, okay? Because if you fucking take one bite of that shit, it's everywhere. Fucking everywhere. So if it's in my bed, I can't. No, we gotta throw away the whole bed. Or you could just fucking Murphy bed it. You know what? Fuck it. I noticed something yesterday yeah. at the, uh, the Airbnb. Yeah. It was the way somebody was eating, okay? Okay. It was the way somebody was eating. Yeah. And I'm not gonna name any names. Okay. Okay. But they would take a forkful, right? Put the whole fork in their mouth, right? And they would grind their teeth against the metal of the fork. What? Like that, and then start chewing, like smacking their fucking lips. I'm like, you gotta pick one of those things. You either gonna smack uh, your fucking lips, or you know, be a fucking well, sociopath. I'm gonna have to know who this was after this podcast, because what the fuck? Like I was noticing every time they they did the thing with the teeth grinding on the fork i was just like i need to leave dude you go home they, i, need to fuck I out think of here. they needed lube for that god damn what my the ex fuck? did that and they're not my ex anymore or they're wait wait i screwed that up, <laughs> you screwed that up. <laughs> my ex did that and i'm back with them <laughs> <laughs> my ex did that and that's why they're not my ex. Well, that's why they are my ex Jeez, i don't know it's all right man. whoa if you miss your ex just say it all right just say it okay <laughs> you Come want back. them back i'm so sorry <laughs> I'm willing to I'll put, put up, up with your fork <laughs> bullshit. Put up with your fork. Quit, I'll quit forking around. <laughs> Go fork yourself. Listen, dude. I just thought about how disgusting the inside of this Murphy bed must be if you're eating in it and there's fucking crumbs and now every time you put it away, they just fall to the bottom of the Murphy bed. The bottom of the Murphy bed's this right here. Well, he's feeding the roaches. What do you mean? Ah, uh, okay. He's well, got a whole family to feed in there. <laughs> no, I just called your family roaches. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're feeding you. <laughs> I called your family roaches, or I called your roaches family, but either way. Either way. Falanga, <laughs> Falanga roaches. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. All right, here we go. Now, they already know his government. He gave it away. Um, I think in the last episode. Next, uh, food in the bedroom, we did that. Shower sex, overrated? I like shower sex. I think it depends on how wet the female is. If what do you you're mean how wet? intercoursing in the with shower. a female, right? They're in the fucking shower. Huh? They're in the shower. They're wet. Yeah, no. Is water wet? Now we get into a whole philosophical debate, motherfucker. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm You're telling an idiot. you. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. She's got to be ready to go. No you shit. know what I'm saying? It's called foreplay. That's that Exactly. You, I'm saying. You what can't do you mean just, you do foreplay before you get into the shower? Like I'm saying you can't just, you, you can't have minimal foreplay or none and go into the shower and, and you know what I'm saying? Is it a shower shower or is it a tub shower? 
Uh, that's a good question. Mm. Yeah, well, tub is is probably better because there's stuff to put leg like your foot on if you need to raise a leg and shit. You ever eat a girl out in a tub and you're just holding your breath underwater? No, I did that <laughs> in a hot tub once. Really? I was fucking drunk as hell. I've always wanted to try that. That seems like a, like a fear factor kind of fun. I'm going to I'm not going to lie, it's probably the most preferred way to do that really? for me. Yeah, I'd it's like I, underwater. In fact, I tell girls all the time, I'm not going to do that unless it's in a hot tub. <laughs> the water temperature is great. You're just right. down there. You're just like, "Oh, this is, you know, is is water wet?" You know what I'm saying? Is she wet? You, you'll find out, you know what I mean? So Shower sex overrated? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit overrated. I don't think so. It depends. It depends. I've had to be really great. I've had to be meh. It just depends. I don't know. So, all right. Uh, people who take the longest time in the shower, what the hell do you do in there? Shower sex, obviously. What um, the fuck? So, I take the longest showers ever. 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 Guinness Book of World I Records? always have my phone on me. Oh, don't, yeah? Don't tell my boss that I take showers during work. <laughs> you take the longest showers ever? Oh, yeah. Long Peruve shower. it. Let's go. Do Shower it. sex. Do it right now, bitch. <laughs> three it. hours. <laughs> Don't come out. You're going to leave you the fucking wrinkled as fuck. <laughs> My legs. Um, what I do yeah. is I'm watching YouTube videos the whole fucking time. What the fuck? I'm watching YouTube videos the whole fucking time. You just have water just hitting you while you're watching YouTube videos. Exactly. What? Yeah. What is wrong with you? I'm watching like tutorials like DIY fucking shit. And why do you have to have water hitting you to do this? I don't know. He's, you're bored. You're so bored in, in taking a shower that you need entertainment at all times. You're what's wrong with this country, Rick. Look, listen, I'm not a fucking iPad baby, okay? It sounds like I'm it. not a fucking iPad Can baby. Can I change my abortion answer? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Um, <laughs> and that's why women hate you. Thank you. So you're watching YouTube videos in this fucking shower. Yes. Watching how to saw a table. <laughs> Dude, the recent which thing, is what he did to this the, table here. The recent thing I discovered was um, yeah. Go ahead and tell him reverse animal rescues. This is fucking fucked well, up. You leave the animal behind. So like, imagine <laughs> reverse somebody, animal rescue. No, okay, wait, it's wait. just a regular animal rescue video. But it's it, it's it's in reverse. Oh, so then <laughs> they put the so animal back. Putting the poor buffalo from the uh, from the helicopter back down to the ground. So like, there's a they're, goat stuck in a sewer. <laughs> They're putting it back, the or they're putting the, they're, back in the sewer. they're putting the can back on the raccoon's head, or whatever the yeah. fuck. Yeah. Well, our viewers at home just saw that, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed that animal rescue, so reverse animal funny. rescue. Exactly. So, uh, uh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, you're doing that. Um, I would say my showers aren't particularly long, maybe a little bit, and I ha I used to take really long ones. Number one, if they're really long, they're probably beaten off in there if they're a man, let's be honest. But I would say sometimes I'll just be, that's like the only time I have to actually reverse of you, Rick, to think and like decompress and not have stimulus going. So I'm, I'm literally just trying to think, okay, what, you know, about my life, about things I'm doing, this, that, decompress, get my mind right to the point sometimes where I forget, like, wait, did I put on shampoo i forgot you know what i'm saying so then you're like maybe in there double shampooing it it does say rinse lather repeat for the record so they didn't say how many times you have to repeat <laughs> it's, it's just endless loop <laughs> so you, Fuck. it's an infinite loop of fucking lathering it's like that fucking stupid tiktok reel it's the one where they just turn and it's just an infinite loop i don't know if you so seen it sounds that. like in his shower we should put a full screen tv in there right exactly. your shower we should put a whiteboard just a fucking whiteboard exactly <laughs> so you can get your, so you get your 2023 like, goals all written out exactly there. <laughs> and, and and there you go rick there and you a sex have swing it. for both of you that's right i've been on a sex swing before what yeah I was in uh, I was at a bar in Rick, the Keys. Rick, I'm so I'm oh oh when you were older oh god I thought you were fucking assaulted or something as a child. <laughs> no, what? Right. what the fuck? Playground playground gone wrong. Yeah, any swing is a, a sex swing to R. Kelly. All right. Uh, I was at a bar. I was at a bar and they were like showing off like sex toys at this bar. I'm like, oh, yeah. is that a sex swing? He's like, yeah, it's a sex swing. I'm like, can I get on the sex swing? He's like, yeah, hop on in. I'm like, dope. And I'm just there like, dude. Do you, do you, <laughs> You know there's a whole show on Netflix now where the girl, like this old lady, talks about how she designs sex rooms for couples. 
I've heard about it on Netflix. There's a whole ass show. It used to be it used to be HBO. Real sex. Is Back that, in the day, really? Yeah, but they would this, have like a dildo lady and uh, oh yeah, and no, I know that. But this lady specifically is talking about designing rooms, sex dungeons. And yeah, stuff. exactly. Right. So anyway, are there Murphy beds in them? There's, you know, that's a good question. That is a really good question. Now I have to watch the show. All right. Anyway, that was the lightning round. As you can see, not very lightning. No, not in the least. Not at all. No. Uh, let's get into the last question of the podcast, Rick. Okay. Let's leave. <laughs> Your fucking loud ass chair, bro. All right, you ready? Yes. Is Rick still even recording? Yeah, it had a notification to send the flight report. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let me okay. get to that, guys. Go ahead and do your job, Rick. Yeah. All right, last question of the podcast. Don't tell my boss. What's the most interesting story you have about a vacation or a holiday? Hmm. Is this person British? Do they mean holiday like vacation, or are they saying like real you, holiday? You go first. You go first. You go first. Me go first? Yeah, 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 you go first. Um. Okay. I would probably say most of my vacations and holidays have been pretty normal. I stepped on a sea urchin in one, you know, in, in Italy. That was kind of annoying. But one holiday that was a bit odd was uh, a New Year's Eve. A New Year's Eve where I actually was working with you, Rick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you fucking around with grass? What the fuck is wrong with you? Fucking around with ass. So I was uh, I was working with you, and I kind of, I don't think we were quite friends yet, though. So I really didn't know what I was going to do for, this was New Year's coming up. Okay. And I really didn't know what I was going to do. Because I kind of had just moved to Miami semi recently. I just had, you know, my friends were not around. And I was like, fuck, I don't really know what to do. Uh, and so I ended up talking on the phone via some dating app with this lady uh, who was. Oh, fuck, I remember. Who is, you remember now? Who was significantly, she was significantly older than me. Um, she actually had like a fucking 18 year old daughter. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. And she she was like asking me, what are you doing for New Year's? And I'm like, I really have no plans. And this is like the, one of the first times I've really had no plans. And she was like, oh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do either. And I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, long story short, we eventually agree like, okay, hey, like let's hang out on New Year's Eve. So now it's me and this lady. And when I say significantly older – She's not like a fucking 60-year-old. She had an 18-year-old daughter, but she herself was fairly young. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't remember how old she was. Maybe mid-30s, maybe 40s. She was closer in age to my mother than me. Let's put it that way. And, uh, yeah, so I showed up. Mm -hmm. and, she, and I will say, she was a fucking MILF. She was hot as fuck, right? And that's why I was like, yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's give this a go. And then... Um, we started drinking and we started fucking like playing like 80s music, which is weird because I technically wasn't born in the 80s. Like I was. But you're fairly familiar. I was. I'm familiar with the music. I was born in the, you know, early 90s. So, but yeah, we're like singing 80s music and shit. And then like she FaceTimed her daughter who was at a party and like had me in the FaceTime. I'm like. That's kind of weird, and her daughter's friends were all there, and then they, like, you know, were talking to me, and I'm like, this is fucking kind of strange. Like, I'm, like, this old guy, but I'm not this old guy. I'm, I You're feel not. like I'm in between. I'm I'm slightly closer in age to your daughter than you. And uh, they're all, like, following. They're all like, oh, we, we, we want to follow you on TikTok. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so then they're all following me on TikTok and whatever. And apparently, like, she goes out with her daughter and shit sometimes, oh. too. Yeah, like, they literally, all her and her friends bring the mom out. Oh. So then it gets even weirder because we've been drinking, drinking, drinking. And then she's like, I have something for us. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And she comes back to the couch. And we're just in her little apartment. And she's got these little fucking pills. But they look like clouds. And I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, I thought we could take these, right? And I was like, 
I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> now, now I know you're really from the 80s, right? I'm like, I, I don't do that. Like, I don't, I've never done drugs, right? So I'm like, no, no. And she's like, oh, come on. And she's like, and I'm just like, no, nah, no, nah, I can't do that. I'm so sorry, whatever. And she's like, all right. So she takes both of them. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, shit. Holy fuck. And it was ecstasy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So some form of that, whatever. Because then afterwards, right, then, like, I mean, she was already pretty fucking comfortable with me and being kind of, you know, but now she's really touchy, you know, and then obviously it gets to that level. Yeah. I am pretty fucking drunk off of champagne. I think champagne is my fucking weakness, Rick, because every time I drink a lot of it, I get an extra level of fucked up. And then now, later later on, we're doing the... Uh, the Champagne Olympics. The Champagne that's, Olympics. That's coming soon birthday weekend champagne olympic so yeah dude so then she's just like so then i had sex with her but she was like so she was feeling everything so intensely that she kind of was like ah like she was like telling me to take it easier because you know i was trying to go ham you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh she was like uh, you know just on a fucking super high and then yeah i spent the fucking night and woke up the next day and then i went to work <laughs> I had to work. <laughs> Noah's rolling his eyes. <laughs> I woke up the next day hungover as fuck, and I had the shits all day at work, too. The fucking, you know, when you get the liquor shits, but this is the champagne shits. And I had to work for, like, because this was New Year's Day, so I had to work extended hours. And, uh, and I was just fucking so hungover. And I was like, I can't believe I spent my New Year's Eve. Like, watch the ball drop and everything. Yeah. With this fucking lady I didn't even know. And then that happened. You didn't miss any reports, <laughs> did you? No, I didn't miss any and reports. And that was the start of 2020, a great year to remember. There you go. We rang it in. We rang it in was nice. Just a excellent year. And I then, loved every bit of it. And then COVID. All right, Rick, what do you got? I'll tell you about a vacation I had. Yeah. Um, it was the first time I was uh, without my parents on a vacation. Went on a. You got abducted. <laughs> I went on a five day cruise with my. That's uh, sex swing. With my uh, my old babysitter, a five day cruise with your old babysitter. Yeah, Ooh, that sounds good. Was she hot? Yeah, no, no, no. Hold on, she she was an attractive lady. Yeah, at some point in time. At some oh, point Jesus, in time. That's so mean. <laughs> at some point in time. Okay. Okay. Circa nineteen. No, she's not. She's not like circa eighteen. <laughs> Holy shit! I think she's about the same age as Noah. <laughs> Okay, oh, so okay. she's ancient. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, she's fucking pyramids. No. All right. But the the kicker was she was a paraplegic. Whoa. She is a paraplegic. <laughs> she was. She was. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's, she's better. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. And we went on, a, on this five-day cruise. It's went either to a miracle Jamaica, or Jamaica, Cayman Islands, yeah. uh, Mexico. Didn't hop off the boat one time. Well, she can't move. I was terrified. Oh, not, oh you, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you meant her. Okay. I was terrified. But not only that, like I'm a kid. I'm, I'm like fucking 10 years old. Yeah. But in the back of my head, I'm thinking, is she really a paraplegic? What? <laughs> I shit you. Why would you? She was would, faking it? Yes. Who the fuck I, would fake that? I was, I was like, how long could you keep this up for? First of all. I don't understand how you end up going on a cruise by, I don't know how, by yourself. I don't know how that happened. Who was the babysitter? Uh, the paraplegic. Are you sure? He, he was the babysitter, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but, wow. So I'm just, just this whole time, I'm like, no, I got to keep all my eyes on her. Okay. She's going to fuck up at some point. What the <laughs> fuck? I don't know. I had a, quite the imagination back then. I feel like you've told me this before, that you were paranoid about because there was at some point in time, you know, back, you know, there's some days where you just mm. like see your like leg twitch or something, right? And it's like, oh, I knew it. You're faking it. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Of all the Alex Jones conspiracy theories I've ever heard in my life, this one takes the cake. You thought your babysitter was faking being a paraplegic? <laughs> Infowars.com. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're definitely they're definitely faking it. They're not paraplegic. No way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, I, I still don't understand. Like, how does this happen? Is she volunteering? She's like, oh, yeah, I'll take, I'll yeah, take she Ricardo. Was, she, she was, a, I guess it was organized by my mom to have, like, quality, me and my babysitter have quality time because we've known each other for a good long Your mom's like, Ricardo, if you're not going to eat your vegetables, you're going to spend time with one. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. 
what the hell, bro? Like, yeah. how does this how does this happen? I don't know how it happened. I was a kid. I was a kid. I was a fucking. Is kid. this the Noah's Ark version of Veggie Tales or what happened? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, no has no comment. Veggie tales. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Just can we go to the next fucking question. If you what? Could? what Please, you, I don't you, didn't, you didn't see that? You didn't see that movie? That, I saw the fucking movie. No, the Veggie Tales one the with Noah's uh, Ark one. No, with Terry Shivo. That fucking. Just kidding. They, they. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They pulled the plug on it. It never <laughs> happened. <laughs> no, I was trying so hard on the fucking. Just Hey man, I gotta try out my stand up material somewhere. Why okay? doesn't he do stand up comedy? I don't understand. Listen, like, first of all, that joke is really outdated, so that that would never work. No, nowadays. but hold on, you're still funny. Like, I but I wrote it a long time ago, that the Terry Shavo joke. It's just, back when it happened. But anyways. Anyways, going back to your paraplegic uh we don't have to babysitter. Go back to it. We really don't have to go back to it. Why not? I wanna know more about this. I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that you, you all never this got time I shit? thought she was faking it. <laughs> Yeah, that is fucked up. Would you kick her in the leg just to see? I don't want to answer that one. You <laughs> would. A yes. I don't want to answer that. You, you fucking What a would. terrible child you were. <laughs> what the you hell? You were a problem child. You want to talk <laughs> about an old movie? Hold on. Where the fuck did the cruise go to, though? It was uh, Jamaica. Oh, you said Cayman, that. Cayman Islands. Cayman and, Islands. And you guys uh, didn't get off the boat, though. Obviously, I was because I, I was. She can't I was, move. You're. Scared. I was borderline on the fact, like you know, if she is a paraplegic, how is she going to have fun doing all those other things, like horseback riding or right. whatever the fuck? I you mean, know? you would have had fun watching, but I don't know if she would have had fun. Right? Like, what would what would the fun really you know consist of? Right. So you guys just stayed on the ship and did, just did like ship things. Like what? You like you put you... her on the water slide and just let her go? <laughs> like. I don't understand. Is she literally just watching you? Like, we you could have gotten each other's company. It was nice. Oh, okay. Was, you know, we were cool. Like, oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. And did you have any siblings at this time, or were? Did I have any siblings? I have my. You I mean, know, my brother exists, right? So I'm, that's what I'm saying. He was born at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a year younger than me. Oh, he's only a year younger. He's only a year younger. Oh, okay. Was know. he on the cruise too? No, he wasn't on the cruise. Yeah, no, that's what I don't get. How do and... you by yourself? Is this a was this a punishment? I don't understand. I don't, know, I don't know how we organize this. You could open the door and be like, "Mom, how did this work out?" What the fuck, dude? Go ahead. You could open the door and be like, "Mom, get in here." What you want to you want to get to the o- bottom open of this? Open the door. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get we're to gonna the interview of your mom. I'd love to have your really mom quick. on the podcast. Really this would be great. Hey, hey, get in here, mom. We're, we're gonna we're gonna wait we're gonna wait here and see if uh if she shows up. Hey, mom. Can you can you come in here, please? Here, let me take that microphone so we can. Uh, your presence is needed. We need to answer a question. We need you to answer a question for us. Yes, dear. Okay, take that microphone. Uh, put uh, it a fist away from your face. Okay, so. Okay, okay. You're, so, okay. Mom, we we have a question. We have a question. Ricardo has informed us that he was once on a cruise with his paraplegic babysitter. This is true. And and it was just the two of them. That's it. How does that come to pass? That it was just Ricardo. And it was just a paraplegic babysitter, nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> because she came to the States. She's Italian. A little bit closer to the mic for okay, us, Mom. Thank so you. she's Italian and she yeah. came for vacation. Okay. Uh, and she was Ricardo and Stefano's nanny when they were little in Italy. Uh, okay. And so she came here on vacation and she wanted to go to the Bahamas. Uh, okay. And none of us either wanted to or could go except for him. How old were you? I don't know, man. I don't know, like eight or nine or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was a child. So a child. Uh, Stefano didn't get off work, so Rick. no, he was too little. Okay. So, uh, so Ricardo, so and she wanted to go with somebody, right? Because she didn't speak English, and ah. you know, yeah. So he so went. Ricardo was a translator. So he was the, he was babysitting her too. No, yeah. he she was uh you know she's she so, traveled the world, but just, she wanted to go to the Bahamas. Yes, she wanted to go to the Bahamas. Now, Ricardo told us mm-hmm. that they didn't get off the ship. That yeah. they, they never <laughs> left the ship. They never really left the ship. So I'm she sure just that wanted she to was s- concerned over the accessibility with the right. wheelchair right, right, right. beyond the ship. She just wanted to see the Bahamas, maybe. Yeah, she wanted from- to go and say okay. that she'd been to the Bahamas and maybe see the Bahamian water. Okay, I got so you. It was lovely water, as I remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. That actually did happen. All right. Don't tell my mom the other 
stuff that I said. Okay, we won't. Okay, don't, okay. don't watch this episode. Okay, I won't. Don't, don't Thank watch you, this. Mom. Thank you for filling it, filling okay. in the blanks there. Quick round of applause. Yay! Yay! Actually, we'll just. Thanks, Daddy. Yeah. Why the fuck would you play that? Well, it's close enough, no. Daddy, Mommy, whatever. <laughs> Same thing. All right. Um, okay. All right. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> now that we've got that all sorted out, uh, Rick. Yeah. I think that about does it for this episode of the Two Hoodies podcast. Thanks for, you know, putting your bed away and uh <laughs> you know. <laughs> um let's just all thank God that uh that we're still here. We weren't aborted and we have all our limbs in working order. I hate my life. All right. So we end every episode. What about Noah? Doesn't Noah want to say anything? Oh, I, no, I maybe some final words. Okay, final thoughts, gentlemen. Never getting a raise. <laughs> never, never getting a raise. Get a raise. No. no. Why not? Because of this podcast. <laughs> Solely because of this podcast. Ricardo, any uh, final thoughts, final words? As soon as this podcast is released, I'm getting a raise. Okay, I doubt it. All right. Bet money on it. I'll tell you what What we're going to do. As soon as this podcast is over for the video portion only, we're going to have Ricardo demonstrate this Murphy bed for us. Don't tell my boss. All right. Sounds good. But that is not a Murphy bed. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Uh, anyways, Rick, as you know, we end every episode with a song you've probably never heard of before, but probably should. What song is it? No, I'm not going to tell you yet because I'm going to have a brief aside here. We, on a previous episode, you had discovered an artist named Hoosh, and we talked about his song Better Days, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe we can cut to that. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't fucking edit this thing. So anyways, uh, point being, Rick, I did not know who Hoosh was. I did not even realize that he is, in fact, a local Miami artist. He is. And he's actually performing at Rolling Loud. All of them. The one in Toronto, everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's just got a Netflix placement. He's killing it. So... Once again, Rick, we keep discovering artists before they start to really take off. So everybody should go listen to our Two Hoodies podcast playlist if you want to hear some good music. We had that other song we talked about that ended up in commercials after we played it on our show. It was the song uh, Crumbs, right? Exactly. Crumbs by Jordan Dennis. So look, Sex guys. And lemonade. We fu Sex and Lemonade. Nicky Yore. Now his song Sunroof is the biggest song on fucking TikTok. We know music is what we're trying to say. But anyways, I was blessed enough because Hoosh is a local artist. Mm -hmm. I was blessed enough to be able to reach out to him, meet him. He's a really cool dude. And we actually have a song together now, Rick. And that is going to be the song for the end of this podcast. It's by Tay. That's me and Hoosh. And it's called Insecure. Take it away. You know you get insecure, yeah You got all these feelings trying to make it work, yeah Drive yourself insane, you get a bit absurd, yeah Have a